Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says we have three books, each having a weight and a length A, and they're stacked as shown. Determine the maximum distance D that the top book can extend out from the bottom one so that the stack does not topple over. Okay, guys, this problem, you just got to think about it a little bit. It's not really that hard. So I'm going to draw a couple of diagrams that should help you understand it. So let's pretend we have this bottom book, right? We're just going to do the problem with two books for now. You know that you have this weight coming down right at the center and a reaction at A. But if you move this, this is basically at the halfway point. At the halfway point, you know that it's not going to topple over. Because if you put the weight a little bit towards the right, then that's going to change the moment to go straight to the right. However, if you leave it right at the half, the normal and the weight would kind of like hold each other right there. I knew I drew this a little wrong here, a little longer than I was supposed to, there. So I don't get complaints on the comments. So right at the halfway point is where one on top of the second one will not topple over. But if you look at it with three books and you follow, let's say you say, okay, so at the halfway point, right? So I could kind of do this. No, you can't really do this because, and you have the normal right here, because if you look at this, if you do the sum of the moments around this point, let's call this point, point B. If you do the sum of the moments at B, you notice that you're going to have a moment, let's zoom, zoom in kind of clockwise as possible, you're going to have the weight of the top book times the, this, the halfway point, which is A over 2. And you have nothing to make up for that. So it can't be, it, they can't all be at the halfway point. It has to be, you have to arrange them in such a way that it would make up for it. So it would look something like this. This is the bottom book. This is the top book and this is, right? So you have this you have this weight and you have this normal. And these distances, since the books weight exactly the same, should be the same. So when you do the sum of the moments at B, you're gonna have the weight times that distance, let's call this distance X, the weight times that distance X minus the weight times the distance X from the book in the middle to make up for the moment. And that would hold it perfectly still. And this, would be the distance d that we're trying to find and this is the distance a so this is how the diagram this is how the diagram should look like <clears throat> now that being said we're going to do the sum of those moments right and we know that let me redraw it i'm going to redraw it right here again We have this weight right here. We have this normal right here, right? And then we have the top book. That's this weight right here. So some of the moments about this point is equal to zero and it's equal to the weight times x minus the weight times this distance right here you know that it's a over 2 and then the distance from here to here you know that it's x we're going to call that x for now so it's a over 2 minus x okay so 0 is equal to the weight x minus the weight times a over 2 plus the weight times x. I just distributed this right here. And you know that the weight you can cancel out because it's in all the terms and there's a zero at the other side. So you basically have that zero is equal to 
2x minus p over 2. So if you solve for x, you're going to get that x is equal to a over 4. You know that d, this distance d right here, since I explained on this diagram, is equal to a minus x. which is the distance from here to here because a is the length of the book and I said this is x so the distance d is equal to a minus x so d is equal to a and you know that x is equal to a over 4 so d is equal to 3a over 4 so final answer